Hello, 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 hello. I'm going to um, kind of eat while I'm talking to you guys. Um, it's good to have friends that will cook. You know, I'm by myself now in my own spot, my own apartment, by myself. <laughs> no, anyway. Um, and um, I don't have to cook like I used to cook for everybody. So, anyway. Um, it's good to have friends that can cook. Well, first of all, I am so picky. I don't eat everybody's food, of course. Uh, but my friend, Tamika Jackson, she made some fried potatoes and salmon. Some people call them salmon croquette, and some people call them croquet, croquette. Some people call them um, salmon patties. Well, I call them salmon patties. Well, Tamika learned how to cook from her grandmother. And when I tell you this child can cook... She can throw down. I've already prayed over my food. So before you ask, why don't you pray over food? I already did. But I wanted to talk to some of y'all, have some questions about alopecia. And why am I talking about it now? And how do I hide it so well? First of all, I love changing. I love changing my hair. I change my hair all the time. But I've learned how to... Uh, just really create styles that you would never tell that I have alopecia. And I always do a lot of people's hair that have trouble with hair loss and stuff like that. Um, uh, this drink right here is kiwi strawberry. Too much strawberry. Not enough kiwi. It's by Wilters, but... It's all right, but it's just something to drink. I've just been drinking water, 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 so I wanted something with some flavor in it. Um, I noticed my alopecia when I was in junior high, but I didn't know exactly if that's what it was. Hmm. So, I didn't say too much. My mother used to break my hair. So tight. You know how back when we were young, some of you know, you got a facelift from your hair being so tight, my face would be like. But, um. Hmm. I just, um. Noticed in junior high that my hair was falling out in certain places, and I just thought it was. You know, dealing with a lot of stuff that I was dealing with. If you want to know, go read my book. Um, you spared my life. <laughs> um, I just thought being stressed out and just going through so much. That's what I. They people would always tell you if you go through a lot of stuff, you would you lose your hair and all that other stuff. So that's what I thought it was. As I got older, I noticed that it was like spots that were moving. Upward, backwards, if I can say backwards. Anyway, by the time I started having my kids, my hair was getting thinner and thinner and thinner. So I always had thick hair. But it was getting thinner and thinner. But, like I said, I've always been able to do my hair and do different styles and stuff like that. Um, you can... Camouflage, you really can. Um, there's just so many different things you can do. A lot of people just get so upset, frustrated, and think they can't do this and can't do that to their hair and stuff like that. And it's difficult to deal with as a woman when you're you really want to just look your best, and you have to um, camouflage and certain hairstyles. Just don't look right. Some of them do. I have a client. I'm not going to mention her name, but um, she was burnt when she was a baby, and um, the majority of the top of her head, bigger than your palm of your hand, hair is gone. And I've been doing her hair for a long, long, long time. But she had pieces up here. But as she's gotten older, it has um, 
started to come out, so there's spots. So we have to do a lot of camouflaging to wear. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna show you probably Saturday. I'm gonna do my hairstyle for Mother's Day, and I'm gonna show exactly what I do to camouflage for this hairstyle that I want to wear for Mother's Day. Oh, excuse me, so, um, it, it, losing your hair like that, it's really difficult at times, but after a while you learn how to deal with it until something happens and you're just like, wow. Or a hairstyle comes up and you just can't automatically do that hairstyle. Or you see something that you like to do and you can't do it. So then that kind of stuff, it really starts to bother you. But you guys, I just want you to know this series that I'm trying to do this about alopecia it's just to recognize when you see people that have shaved their head. Some people do it because they want to shave their head. Some people do it because they have to. Those people that have to, nine times out of ten, don't want to. They just have to do it. They feel like that's their only result. They don't know how to do hair or they don't have the money to spend on. Keep getting their hair done to camouflage. Or they get to the point where they're just over it and tired of trying to camouflage it. So... Just be more respectful and mindful. Um, like when I'm doing somebody's hair, I'm just thinking, wow, I have, my hair would be so cute like this, but I have to figure out a way to do it. Like even though I don't have hair up here, I have these little pieces of hair that I, this little section right here that you see, I would make three to four braids out of it and pull it back and make it look like there's some braids that's right there. I've been doing it for years. Um... It's hard to explain, but I'll, I'll show y'all one of these days. And I'm exhausted because I've been up since early this morning. I had to go to therapy for my lymphedema. I go. I have to be there at 7, <clears throat> and it's all the way across town. So it's like a probably about a 25, 30-minute drive for some people. I ain't going to tell you how long it takes me to get there. But anyway, um, so I have to drive from here to there. Then I leave from there, and then I go babysit for or she, my oldest daughter's little girl. But so... I just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about if you guys have any more questions uh, about how to camouflage. Just keep watching. Keep watching my my shows, that my videos that are going to come out. We're going to talk about it as I'm doing it and showing you different ways to do it. Uh, I will be doing one, like I said, Saturday for Mother's Day. So, of how I want to wear my hair. And... When I do it, you can it'll look like this. You can wear it either way. You can wear it flipped over this way, flipped over that way, or separate it and wear it. That's what I'm gonna. That's what the hairstyle I'm gonna use. Now I say that's the hairstyle I'm gonna use, but I might change my mind. But I've been saving this hair, so I'm probably gonna use it. Um, this is just a quick video to just tell you guys. Thank you for your support. Also, thank you for support for Rajay's Royalty Lashes. Um, my website is Rajay-R-A-Z-J-A-S-Lashes. No, wait. R-A-Z-J-A-S-Royalty-Lashes.MyShopify.com. That's a lot. I know it is, but... um. That's what I did when I went to Shopify, and that's the name they gave me. That's the way we did it, and I'm not changing it now. I'm going to leave it just like that. <laughs> so, um, yes, thank you guys so much for supporting my businesses. Uh, for those you who do not know, I'm Rajay. My name is Rosalind, but they call me Rajay. I went to beauty school, and a young man by the name of Hadari Brown. Hey, Hadari. If anybody sees Hadari, tell him I said, hey, because it's because of him that I have my name, Rajay. We went to beauty school together and people were coming in asking for me. He said, this isn't, and he named the school, this isn't that, this is Rajay's beauty salon or something like that. And so when he said Rajay, it just stuck. So I started using the name. So that was way back 2005, 2000, 2000. And so now it's here, here we are. And it's, my business is called Rajay's Royalty Lashes. And I have Royalty Lashes, Royalty Lip Gloss, Royalty Body Butter, 
You can find it all on my website. You can also find my books on my website. There's four books. There's You Spared My Life. Um, book talks about my life and how of everything that I went through growing up, and I'm still a good person. And it's, it's not a coincidence that God gave me the last name Friend. How about that? Um, a Woman's Legacy is a book that we talked about. Uh, I grabbed some women and asked them to give me a chapter and let allow them to talk about uh, a legacy that they wanted to leave or a legacy that uh, was left for them. Then I did a single mother story and I grabbed some more different ladies in. We talked about how we wouldn't have made it without the grace of God in single mothers. And then we did a woman's legacy phase two. And um, same thing, those women, but wonderful women, uh, they talked about uh, a legacy that was left or a legacy they wanted to leave. And then, of course, a book coming out that I keep telling y'all is coming, and it is, um, attached to something God didn't design been attached to people, places, and things. Sometimes we take ourselves through things that God that wasn't even in our that wasn't even in our lineup. But you just go down a road. You sometimes we think we know what's better than what God knows, and then we end up doing and being places that we don't need to be. That's what that book is about. And um, I've been asked a question about doing a woman's legacy phase three. I am. I just, um, I want to pray about it some more. I just want to really pray about it of when we need to do it. So if you're interested, please inbox me and let me know. And what you do, you write your chapter. It has to be a thousand words. And I can explain more then if you really want to be a part of that project. Um, but thank you so much for supporting my business. I just created a new formula for uh, body butter. I have the mousse kind. It feels like a mousse feel, fluffy mousse. And then I have like a creamier feel. And it remember when Avon used to do uh, like their little jars of, it wasn't lotion, but it was in a little round jar. It has that texture feel of it because a lady friend of mine was asking for, she loved the body butter, but she wanted it more she didn't want so much of a mousse feel. So I went back to the drawing board and figured it out. So we have two different types of body butter now. So on my website, you can find my books, body scrub, body butter, lip gloss. Um, books, body butter, body scrub, lip gloss. And that's it. Oh. Boom, eyelashes. I <laughs> almost forgot. Speaking of eyelashes, I did a friend of mine hair today. She's been going through a rough time. She had surgery on her eyes and just going through a rough time. And so I thought today she had asked me to do her hair. So I did her hair, but I gave her something better than that. I did her makeup. She put on these lashes. She was like, she don't know about these lashes. Girl, I put them on. You couldn't have told her nothing. She looked beautiful. So Tamika, you look beautiful, babe. Thank I'm so glad I was able to bless you um, today with the lashes. And I, my lashes are magnetic. They're not the kind that you use glue to. If you can put on eyeliner, I can show you how to put on these lashes. And for those who need personal classes, individual classes to put these lashes on when you buy them from me, I will do them for you for free. All you, oh, excuse me. All you have to do is uh, let me know that you have purchased them from the website and you want a personal class. And I got you. How about that? All right, I'm going to get off here, and I'm going to eat, finish eating. I'm going to try to finish eating, and I'm going to take a quick shower. I've got some stuff i got to do. I've got some paperwork I have to fill out. I have some orders. I need to check my orders, but thank you guys for everything. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Again, if you would like to know anything about alopecia, or if you're dealing with alopecia and you don't know who to talk to, we can talk because I have it, believe it or not. Okay? God bless you guys. Have a great day. Great evening. God bless you.